So this next part is going to be how to install your oil catch can and your PCB breather valve. Um, we're going to do the breather valve first and then the catch can. Right here on your valve cover, there is a OEM hose, which we've taken off, that goes right across into the stock intake. That's all getting removed, and you're going to be putting a breather valve over on this side. There's two ways that you can go about this. One of them looks a little cleaner for emissions purposes. So if you have someone that's a little stricter in your state, this is kind of the way to do it. We provide you, or Remnant Performance will provide you with two different hoses. Um, they're both braided, but one of them is a little bit larger in diameter than the other. So you're going to take the larger diameter one and you're going to slide it over this nipple over here. And one trick that we found works really well is to take a pair of pliers, slide them inside the hose, and just expand it and stretch it so that it fits a little bit easier because it's going to be kind of a hassle to get it on since it's such a tight fit. And we're just going to run it in, slide it down. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you that it's not all the way down. You want it to be all the way down, and you're going to clamp it down with a zip tie once you're done so that it doesn't pop off or anything. But I'm just going to get it down halfway. And then show you how to route it. So once it's on, for a cleaner look, you just run this hose underneath your wiring harness, pick it up with your hand, run it, slide it under like this. And you're going to use this reducer with your breather vent valve. Both come in the kit. <laughs> Always. Everything comes in that you need. And you're going to put in the larger side in the hose itself. Otherwise it just won't fit tightly. And once again, you're going to zip tie it so that it doesn't pop off. Your breather valve goes in on the other side, like that. And then the screw clamp for this valve is just a flathead, so you're just going to tighten it. Now, if you're not in a state that requires emissions, or you know a guy and you're not afraid of them looking at any mods that you have and failing your vehicle right away, you can bypass this hose and the brass fitting and just install the breather valve on the nipple on your valve cover directly. But once you've installed this, it basically just sits in the back and it will not vent anything into your intake. It just vents to atmosphere at this point. Perfectly fine. There's no issues with it. And you can tuck it away, you know, just Pick this up want. however you want to, just yep. basically reroute it. That way, it, you know, if anybody's to look underneath your hood, they're just like, oh, it looks like you have everything hooked up. They just, you know, they just don't really know exactly how you're, how you're doing it, but it looks pretty legit, at least to them. It's pretty legit to quit. Yeah. There you go. So there it is. That's one way to route it. Like I said, you can bypass this whole hose and just have this breather sit right on the nipple and then clamp it down. Yeah, perfect, all right. Next up, we're gonna talk about how to route your oil catch can. So we've talked about putting your breather cap on. Now it's time to put the oil catch can on, which is the last step in this, in this install before, you know, you have fun boosting. In this remnant turbo kit, you're going to get a catch can, it's going to have fittings, and it's going to come with a mounting bracket as well as two mounting screws for the back of the can to mount to the bracket. The first thing you're going to have to do is take apart the can and put the bottom part aside. That is going to be your collection bin and then this is your baffle and this is a very handy dipstick that screws in so that it doesn't fall out. And it'll tell you how much oil you have you know, before you do your oil change and before you change the catch can out. So, to mount the bracket to your catch can, you're going to receive two Allen head bolts with nuts. And you're just going to put the bolts into the respective holes. And then you're going to bolt them 
to the bracket. Yes, and bolt goes on the inside. Yep. The opposite of lead. Wait, no. No, that, yeah, that's exactly what you did, yeah. <laughs> we are way too tired for It is, days. yeah, it's like 3 something in the morning right now. The struggle you, is real. If you end up dealing with what I'm dealing with right now, a situation like this where you can't run the bolt through because it's hitting this lip, take these two screws out just loosen and move them. it yeah. out a little bit and then you'll be able to do the bolt. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put one bolt in right now and bolt it to the bracket and show you guys how it sits. And of course, you're going to tighten this as well, but for demonstration purposes, it's not what I'm doing. Put this back in. Then we're going to use your 10 millimeter bolt because this is already pre threaded. And you're just going to move these vacuum lines out of the way as much as possible. second bolt in it'll be tight and you're gonna hold it like that and then your lines are gonna go through so now let's show you how to actually connect the lines yep. so in your kit there are two different lines and they're different sizes there's a smaller one and a larger one for inside diameter the larger one is also shorter so the smaller one goes from your valve cover which is right here and there's a hose over here from the factory that you're going to have to remove as well this one goes to your catch can inlet if you look at the catch can one side says in and the other side says uh, other side says out the inlet side you're going to route a little bit behind all of these other wires so that it will not kink And then you're just going to feed it. Go yeah. There's a specific way to go underneath so that it doesn't get caught under everything. Yeah, I'll do that piece since I'm a little bit closer. <laughs> AM shenanigans. So Here. here's your inlet line. It goes all the way around behind all the other ones and then it connects to the valve cover itself. Right in the back where my hand is. Right there. Hey, let there be light. Right where my fingertip is right now. It's in the back of the valve cover. There we go, much better. Right there. And then you're just going to clamp it down with a zip tie. And once again, it'll go in to the inlet side of your catch can. The outlet is a lot simpler since it's a lot shorter. It's going to go from the outlet of your can to the original PCV hose. So right here where my finger is, you're just going to squeeze the hose in and then clamp it again once, just like the inlet one. And it's going to be a tight fit, so don't be discouraged by it. But it should fit perfectly fine. And then once again, tie it in. You're getting it all the way up. And yeah. All the way up. 
run it around, and it goes to the outlet. Perfect. And that's it. All right, the last thing you do is when you get to the catch can itself, uh, you need your fittings. There's going to be a bunch of fittings in the plastic bag that you get. You want the small one and you want the medium one. Okay. Medium one goes in your out because that's the one that's going to head to your uh, intake manifold. You put the rubber o-ring that's also in the bag, put that on, and then you just screw it in. All right. Use a channel lock to tighten it down. That's all you need to do. Simple. Then you take the small one. Small one goes into your in. This is the one that actually feeds to the back of the block. It's going to be some work, but you'll be able to get it on to the uh, hose that you got in here. And also the same thing for this one. This will be some work, but you can get it on, right? So that's how you do it. Real simple. And there's your old catch can install. And after this, everything has been hooked up in your turbo kit. You are ready to go boosting.